What's up guys, Aubrey from Bold here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a buy one get one offer on your Shopify store, commonly referred to as a BOGO. Now while this is going to show you how to make a very specific kind of BOGO offer, you can use the techniques in this video to run a ton of different promotions, like a free giveaway offer when a customer spends $100, a buy three get one, there are a ton of possibilities. Time to get started. So let's say I have a store that sells toys and one of my hottest sellers are fidget spinners. These are a huge fad right now and I can't seem to keep them in stock. Unfortunately, since these have become so popular, the fidget cubes that I also offer have had their sales slowed way down. I need to sell through these fidget cubes so that I can cut my losses and focus on the products that matter. To solve this, I'm going to run a BOGO style offer on my store. When a customer chooses a fidget spinner, as so many of them are right now, I want to offer them a fidget cube as well to clear out my stock. To sweeten the deal, if they buy the cube with a spinner, I'll offer them a 50% discount so that they're more enticed to buy. This promotion will be to buy a spinner at full price, get a cube at 50% off. We're going to use two apps from Bold to make this happen, product discount and product upsell. Here's how it works. So first we'll load into the product discount app. Now we're gonna use this app to create some duplicate discounted products that will be visually hidden on the storefront. And the reason we're doing this is because product upsell is later going to use those discounted products to show in a pop-up to the customer at the discounted price. So we'll go through how to create the discount and product discount, activate it, and then set up the upsell offer to make sure that customers are able to take advantage of this promotion. So to start off, we'll hit create discount up in the top right corner here. And we're going to set it up. So the discount name is only used internally. You can choose any name you'd like. Uh, I'll do fidget cube offer just to make sure it's easy to understand. We're going to disable the date range as well as the sense override feature. Um, on a BOGO offer, you will never want the date range enabled. You may want the sense override feature enabled. You can check our help center for more information on that. Then we're going to choose the discount that we're going to apply. So in this case, we're applying a 50% discount to those fidget cubes. We'll use the select products button to choose my two full priced fidget cubes. There we are. And we've picked those out, so we'll hit continue with selected products. So those are the products that product discount is going to go through and actually apply the price change to. We're also going to check off this duplicate and hide option here, which says create a hidden duplicate. And we can hit create at the bottom. Now, that will have created our discount offer and it is showing here in our list now. We can turn this on right now. So as long as the liquid code has been installed on our storefront, as mentioned at the top of the article, uh, turning this on won't have any consequences. In other words, customers won't be able to come across these products in the storefront. So even though our upsell offer isn't started yet, or even our promotion isn't started yet, maybe we're just doing this for setup, you'll wanna turn this on right away and there won't be any negative effects on your storefront. So next we'll walk through how to set up product upsell. So to do this, we'll load into the product upsell app from the apps screen in the Shopify admin. This should load into the current offers screen. If it doesn't, you can click in the navigation bar and it will take you there. And then we'll hit create new. So here we're going to set up the upsell offer and this is what uh, will be displayed in the pop-up that shows to the customer when they add the product to their cart. So the upsell name again is just for internal use. So we can do fidget cube BOGO. I'm gonna to choose to show this upsell offer when the customer presses the add to cart button. So what this means is when the user is on the product page and they pick out a fidget spinner, when they press add to cart, we're going to show them the upsell pop-up. And we're also going to set a condition. So you can press the add condition button the condition type is going to be a product trigger because we need the customer to add a specific product to their cart before they can receive this offer. 
So again, we'll select products. And in this case, we want it to be our yellow fidget spinner. So we'll press add and press continue. And then we'll save the condition. Perfect. So the upsell offer is going to show when the customer presses the add to cart button and these conditions have met. The product's been saved and it will trigger the upsell. So next we'll set up some options for our pop-up window. The window title is some bold text that's going to show up at the very top of the offer to catch the customer's eye. I'm gonna do something simple, 50% off fidget cubes. The description is exactly what it sounds like. It's a little more of a description that shows right underneath the title. So I'm going to type in something catchy that's going to attract the customer's attention and convince them to buy. Perfect. Short and sweet. Then we're going to choose the products to upsell. So we'll hit the select products button here and you'll see now under results, I actually have two of each fidget cube. I have one that's at full price, $20, and another that's at half price or the 50% off discount that I applied. In this case, we're choosing the 50% off product or whatever product has had the discount applied to it. So this is the $10 product in each case. Now that I've picked those, these are the products that will be offered to the customer in the pop-up. So they're going to get the discounted product when they choose the fidget spinner. Perfect. The advanced options uh, can be found in our help center for more information. So we'll save this upsell offer. And you'll see it's been enabled already. So for the last step, we'll head to our storefront and test this offer out. So you can see I'm on the Yellow Fidget Spinners product page here. It's regular $25. When I press the Add to Cart button, an upsell offer appears. 50% off fidget cubes and the description that I added. So now the customer has the option to pick either of these products. They can add them to their cart right from the offer. And you can see now we're on the cart page. We have one fidget spinner at full price and a fidget cube at half price. So that's it. That's how to create a buy one, get one or a BOGO offer using Bold's product discount and product upsell apps. And as I mentioned at the start of the video, you can use this for a ton of different offers. It might be a spend $100 and get a discounted product or a free gift uh, giveaway offer. It could be a buy three and get one. Tons of different possibilities. If you have any questions, you can always check the Bold Help Center or contact our support team for more information. Thanks for watching.